you remember the video lecture on cytokines, we know that interferons are a large family of secretory proteins. They are a type of cytokines. Means they are cell signaling molecules within our immune system. Interferons are produced by human body cells in response to invasion by several pathogens. For example, viruses, bacteria, parasites, they are also produced by tumor or cancer cells. Interferon. The name reflects their ability to interfere with viral replication. Now the question is, how? Details of the process we will study shortly, but first let us study types of interferons. Interferons have been divided into two types. Type 1 interferons and type 2 interferons. The basis of this classification is the type of cells that produces the interferon and the function of these interferons. Type 1 interferons comprises of interferon alpha and interferon beta. Type 2 interferons comprises of interferon gamma. Type 1 interferons as we said, type 1 interferons comprises of interferon alpha and interferon beta. Interferon alpha and interferon beta are identical in structure and function. Interferon alpha are secreted by virally infected leukocytes, for example monocytes, macrophages and some lymphocytes. Talking about interferon beta, they are secreted by fibroblasts. Type 1 interferons interfere with the viral replication in uninfected cells. They also alert immune cells, such as natural killer cells, that an infection has occurred. Now let us study in detail the role of interferons in antiviral defense. We all are familiar with the basic structure of viruses. Viruses are composed of nucleic acid surrounded by a protein envelope. When viruses infect a cell, they transfer only their nucleic acid inside the target cell. And then they use the machinery of that cell to produce new viruses. Let's say this is a normal healthy cell of human body. Virus comes and infects it. Once the viral nucleic acid is inside this cell, in response, this cell produces interferons, that is type 1 interferons. We must remember that all the cells of human body express interferon receptors on their plasma membrane. So, once released by the infected cell, these interferons bind to the interferon receptors present on the nearby cells. This binding generates an internal signal which results in the formation of or production of antiviral proteins by the uninfected cell. Antiviral proteins remain inactive in these cells. But when virus comes to infect this cell, these antiviral proteins become activated and they degrade the viral nucleic acid. They also inhibit protein synthesis. Thus, Antiviral proteins prevent spread of viral infection. Now the question is, what happens to the cell which is already infected? Interferons do not protect those cells, but they are destroyed by natural killer cells and by apoptosis. Type 2 interferons, which comprises of interferon gamma. Interferon gamma is produced by activated T lymphocytes and natural killer cells. They stimulate the activity of macrophages and for this they are also known as macrophage activation factor. So now we know that all type of cells in human body are capable of producing interferons and they all have interferon receptors on their plasma membrane. Type 1 interferons which are produced in response to viral infection 
they appear early in the infection and they are part of non specific that is innate immunity but type 2 interferon which comprises of interferon gamma they are part of adaptive immunity and they appear late in infection 